everybody, welcome back to another nice guy video. I don't know why I'm doing all this with my hands. Okay. <laughs> but, um, anyway, today I'm going to review all of our nerf guns. Every single last one. We might have a couple duplicates in here, like a picture, but that's okay because it's all good. Um, so yeah, let's. So right here, I have the Fire Strike Elite. It is my favorite pistol and somewhat my favorite gun. It has a laser sight right here. Here I'll have it. There's a laser sight. And it's very good for aiming, but it's not very good for aiming in bright places because the laser doesn't shine correctly on bright walls and the bright shirts and bright pants and stuff like that. Bright. Just what? Uh, but, um, it's very good to, like, if you have this on it, you can put, like, um, a scope, but it would just mess up, like, you're trying to shoot there like it's better to have the laser sight out and then aim like have the laser sight connect with this thing right up here you see the um i guess it's called a tactical belt and it you look through that and then it goes to this right here but um yeah that's the fire strike elite a nerf and strike elite blaster this this gun is the Rough Cut 2x4. It is a 2x4 blaster, so you want to and a 4 down. It is a shotgun, if you didn't know that already, though. And um, there's a very nice scope thing going on here. Because right here, right up this, right this thing, it has like a split in the middle. And then right here, you look through that and line that up with it. Could I can do it? But this is higher, this is higher than the barrel where the darts are firing out. Anyway, some features of this are this. This is one of the only guns that you have this gun. One of the, or maybe the only gun that you have in this gun. Like, this one, you do it over. But um, these two, you like pull it back and it goes back. This gun is like our only shot. It's really nice. The grip, you put your pinky and your ring finger there, your middle, your middle, your, your middle finger there, and your uh, pointer finger there. And now, same thing with the fire strike that I did last time. You put your middle finger here, ring finger, and pinky finger. Your pinky finger can kind of rest if you have bigger hands, and kind of rest on um, this little thing right back here. Just to extend it, but I per I personally really like <clears throat> I personally like these guns because they fit into my hand very well. Very nice um, grip. <sighs> so yeah, that's the um, that's the rough gun. The next gun that I have is called the Hammer Shot. It is actually a very nice gun. It is one of Ben's favorite guns. It is a pullback, so you can go. That five five shot five barrels in here. It's a, it's a barrel gun and there's five little dark holders. It is very nice. Um, you can like do that, roll over on your finger. But um, not when it's loaded, because when it's loaded and it's pulled back, it's that. So um it is a very nice grip. I really like the grip. Um tactical vest. No no not tactical vest, tactical belt right up here. Leading to a little, um, little sight right up there in the aimer. So yeah, that's the, um, most, the fire strikes are actually mine, but I let Ben use it because he really, really likes it. And, um, yeah, that's the fire strike. The next gun, the next gun I have right here is a smaller pistol. It is double shot, double strike, double shot, right now. Double shot, I'm pretty sure. Double strike. Um, it's a very nice gun. Uh, it's also because it's loaded right here. I mean, I mean, not loaded. See, it's loaded and it's very nice for like 
than that, yes. Don't show like having dual wheel of them. But um, it's very nice. Two barrels. Um, this little tactical vet. Tactical vet. I keep calling it. This is a little tactical belt right here, aimer on the end, so you can go. This is the cool thing about it, it's like it has, um, sorry, the TV's not in the background, but it has um, a little aimer right here, you go like that, and it's very nice. The next gun I have is the sling. Ben likes to do this thing where he goes. I don't know how to do it. But, um, it has this little aimer on the side and, um, a little sight right here. So it goes out. Look, you gotta go like this and then aim above of the target that you're firing at. Um, I really like this gun. I use it sometimes in battle because you go. But, um, it has this grip. The grip is very nice right here. It's a very light sort of not heavy gun um you have a little whenever it gets jammed and it gets jammed a lot it's not very good well mine my sling fire is not very good um for um it's a little it's like floppy darts like the darts that kind of like flop around uh or like squashed up darts but um it's actually very nice for um like harder darts because we had recently in the unboxing video had gotten more darts and it was very nice to just be able to go like that and just keep shooting non-stop. Next up is the clear shot. The clear shot is a gun, it has a um, tactical belt right here and it came with a sight, but the sight sucks so we don't use it. It's a nice pistol. It actually has a sight back here too so you can line it up with this thing right there. Go. It doesn't shoot very far, even though you can feel the big puff of air when you hold it up close to your face. Like, yeah, a couple of puffs of air. Um, it's actually a very nice gun. It has you can hold a dart here, dart here, two darts here, and a dart right under there. Um, it's very good. Like you can roll it on your finger, nice. The um, it actually it has like the grip to it is one of the most common. Um, pinky and ring finger go here, middle finger goes here, and pointer finger goes here, thumb wraps around. It's very nice, like, for, um, pistols or, like, one-shot guns, I like to call them. Like, for this gun, this gun kind of has the same thing, but it's more of a shorter, like, a shorter handle. This one has it going like that. The modulus has like this because they're automatic guns. They don't have like the same um, thing. Like this gun, you see how it goes like there's a bump here, bump here, bump here. You shoot it out. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the clear shot. Now we have the crossbow. Oh god. This one, uh, my brother really wanted it because it uh, it like it came with this where you could spin. This little saw blade, I guess. But um, it's a double shot gun, just like the double strike. Uh, you pull it back, pull it back again. It also has a uh, little sight right here. I don't know. No, sight's not very good. Or no, this thing right here, you line that up. But um, I guess, like, you have it has to be like right next to this thing. I don't know. But um. It's a very nice gun. It's not very good for rolling when it's loaded because it does that. But um, it has this little saw blade, and my brother's like to use it in war because if you come up behind, <laughs> you can come back up right behind somebody and go shoom, and just cut them. Right. Next gun, this gun that I have is the flip. Blade. It has twelve darts, which is very cool. We actually have two of these. We each got one for Christmas, but um. Like, you see these two things right here? This little sight, you can barely see it, but it has to be on top of these. This is like, kind of rolled up. The sights on these are memorized by them. It's, um, it was actually one of the guns that, this is the gun that we have that, is, that holds the most dice. 
or the, the gun that we have that we've actually like shot that holds the most butts. Because I have another gun to show you right down here. Show you at the end of the video. Part five. This is a one shot gun. It actually holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You take one out, you go. And then like that. It's actually very nice. Um, you can pull this off, fit it into a long pistol, and take this off. And then um, you can actually store it. Well, actually, I'll put it all together for you. But you can store it. This is for like storage whenever someone or if you're going somewhere and you want to take it. Um, you can store it like this and have the barrel there, the gun up here, and then it has this little latch thing that you can like latch onto your um, pants or whatever you're using. So you can like go like that. And then um, whenever you're like going into war or like a Muslim fight, like we had, my cousins came over yesterday. I tried to do a video with them, but I couldn't. So uh, we had a big Nerf gun fight from the darts that we used yesterday. And um, this gun, this gun's good with any darts. Like so, like the pistols and the one shot gun like this. Um, this gun I know. This gun's not very good with walkie talkies. This gun I know is very good. Um, like these guns are very good with walkie darts. This gun because um, some guns like the modulus and the strike and the clean fire get there. Those um those darts, the floppy darts get like caught inside of the gun. This gun is another modulus gun. It's a modulus sort of pistol like this is just an attachment to it. But um, this when you take off, it comes like this. It looks like a Star Wars blast, doesn't it? I'm gonna say it looks like a Star Wars blast. But it is a one shot. It came with another extension right over here, and it also came with something that you could put up here that holds darts or put down here and that holds darts. Um it's another it's kinda like a sharp fire, the one that I just put showed you guys. But um, it's like a closer, it's like a closer gun. Like you can have it with this, this um, I forget what they're called. Ah, uh, I don't know what they're called, but you put them like here. If anyone, if anyone knows what they're called, put them down. Put it down in the comment section below. But um, this is another modulus. I'm trying to look for the name. Yeah, it's just another modulus gun. Um. It's very nice. It like, hold on, let me see. I'm gonna take this off the modulus. But um, you can put it's this. You can put this on, I guess. Yeah, look. This, that's crazy. But um, it's a very nice gun. The grip is like all the others. Middle finger here. This is the most common grip. Like some other grips, um, not very nice, like that grip, like we have, like just for the, um, the rock cut and the fire strike, um, those are the most common guns, they're very nice. The Jolt is a very small pistol, it's one of the guns, I wouldn't recommend it for war, if you're in a nerf gun fight, then I wouldn't recommend it, but it's actually very accurate. It has this little, um, you see this little indentation right there, and then it has this little blue thing right up at the top of it, so you can line that up and then shoot. But, um, this is, this is another one of the pull bag ones, like, that pulls the, um, pulls the little tube down. If I haven't told you guys, I'm going to do that in another video, maybe after this one. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we like nerf and love those a lot, because we did okay. this. This gun is the Trio 3x3, I guess. 3x3. Trio 3x3. I'll just call it that. It's a bigger, like, it's a bigger jolt, and it has three. Here you go. Very hard. This one's broken. Here, I'm gonna go get me another one. But the reason I didn't want to is because it has this little string attached right over here. Um, but it's. You pull down, shoot, shoot. Shoot. Um, this one, not very good on spinning. The best spinning one, though. Is the double strike. But this one, pull it down. This one's actually kind of like the double strike. Pull it down, shoot, shoot, shoot. 
This is actually one of the guns that I would have, like, for a pistol, if I was using, let's say, um, I was using the sling fire, I would use this as my pistol, I would use this, or the double strike, because they're very nice guns, pull down, shoot, pull down, shoot, you already have two darts, you only have one dart left, someone shoots a dart, another dart, you can pick them up, you're fully loaded now. And this gun is the strike. It's another automatic gun, kind of like, well, I call them cartridge guns, but they're automatic. Um, like the modulus is automatic, and this gun, these are one of the only two guns that are automatic. So, this is if it gets, um, lodged in there or something, um, you can just push it through. And then what I discovered earlier was that they have these two, they have these two little doors. For the modulus, I'll show you about that one later, but it has, um, it has these two things. Oh, no, is that the sling fire? I think it might be the sling fire. Hold on, let me just... No, the sling fire has this little door too, but uh, the module is being the newest of the cartridge guns, or one of, or the newest cartridge gun that we have, has a little thing in it, like you can pull it up, it um, has like, like rubber, kind of, or like latex in there. And you shoot it, this one's actually nice, it, it has a tack belt right here, tack belt right here, you can put it on here. You can put on this extension, right back here. I still forget what they're called. Hey Ben! What's this thing called? It goes like right into your armpit, right back here. You know what this is called? What's it called? I don't know. Neither do I. Anyway, this is the Strife. It's actually very nice. You can probably hear Ben's video in the background. Ben! Can you? Okay. Thank you. I'm not trying to be mean, but I love my brother. But, um, it's just really loud. I don't want you guys to be hearing. That video that they're watching. But, um, ooh, we got our first subscriber yesterday. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious. But, um, yeah, that's the, that's the strength. This is the persuader. This is another pistol. It's kind of like it's a pullback pistol. Shoots for The Ben is actually for the pullback, but I don't actually think it's hard. It's that hard. The perks of this is that it shoots four. So, one, two, three, four. It has a tactical belt right here and an aimer at the very end. So it's pretty nice, but the grip, the grips, the grip's not like the others. Like, let's say, here we go. You pinky, ring, middle, finger. And back around. But for this one, all three. I really like that. I don't like, like, all my fingers together because they just get sticky and everything. But, and then the back for, um, the back for this is why a cool thing about it, I don't know if you guys can see, but it shows how they work. Like, pull that back, this pulls that thing back, it goes down, loaded with the spring, and then the spring releases. You pull the trigger, it releases it, and then the, the, it pulls like a little tube, kind of, and it has a little plug for the tube, sorry. And, um, you pull the tube back, and then the tube fills with compressed air, and the air shoots out really fast. And, but guns like this, like the double shot and the cross cut, and the, um, like guns like this that you have that share a barrel, like this, because for the hammer shot, the hammer shot you can just like, it moves over, like the barrel comes in with whichever dart is in, so you move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, like that. But for these guns, it's actually hard if you have like a very, very, very light dart, like some darts you know how are heavy. You shoot it out, and then this one might go out with it, too. Um, so yeah, that's the Persuader. The Modulus. Um, it's one of the newer, more commercialized guns. Now, because the Doomlands, the Doomlands weren't commercialized. I don't know if they were. They weren't for us, because when the Doomlands, the last three were coming out, or at the peak, I call Because I don't really watch TV that much. I watch, like... Animal Planet and like Treehouse Masters. Shout out um, Treehouse Masters. They're awesome. I like all the work that they do. But, um. Oh, jeez. <laughs> trying to keep them all straight because of my freaking OCD. But, um, this gun, this holds. This is the automatic gun. It's one of my favorites. Um, it holds 10 darts. And as I was saying with the strike, um, this one, whenever it jams, it has this little rubber plus latex right down to the bear. But um, this one, it has a whole bunch of attachments here. I'm gonna put on 
this attachment right here. Take it off with one hand, but um, this, um, I forget what they're called. He's like, the modules have one right back here. And um, oh geez, I have no idea what they're called. But they're like good for like sniper rifles, like that. And um, but it has a very, very nice aimer right here. It has three points that come in, and that point that you want to hit is right there. But you gotta still think the bullet comes out here, so you're shooting like right over the bullet, right over where the bullet comes out. Um, personally, one of my favorites, Ben got it for his birthday, and I play with it all the time. We had a mega nerf gun fight. But yeah, it's very nice. Holds ten darts. The cartridge is you can hold like an extra cartridge. As you can see, um, put it in, hold it in, take it out later on, just like that, and put it back in. You already have you to take that out, and then when you need to fill it up, fill that one out. Like that, um, like so, shoots out, that's modules. Say, Bodhi. This is the deploy case CX now. The reason they call it the deploy case is that when you push this button, I personally, I personally don't like having this out because it limits your sight. I like having it go like that. Oh, here. But, um, or no. This is a little aimer. It's a little hole. And it has that thing right there. It literally doesn't even go out. It's pretty cool. But it's another gun. Like, shoot it out. Put it back. Um, it's very nice, I like it. Um, oh, and if it jams, you can just pull that thing out right up there. Right up there. Jams. Choo choo! Go ahead, pull it back, pull it up. It actually, um, I guess it holds an extra dart right here. And that's two. I don't know. But, um, it's one of my favorites. Now this is the bulk. This gun is awesome. It's very heavy. It's one of it's a sort of turret type of gun. So you pull it up and you put your little um I don't know what you call it. Little belt of darts. And this turns it on. You pull this back like if you just watch it, you will. This gun's usually meant for it. Being held up. Yeah. What I like to do, if you want to, you just have it on automatic Thank you. and just uh, shoot it out. Need batteries though. So yeah, this is the Vulcan. It doesn't really have any sights. It is a tactical boat right here. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, those were all of the Nerf guns that we have. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please um, give us a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then you're a turd. But please subscribe. Um, for more videos like this, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, if you like your, <laughs> if you like please your, like the video. Um, comment down below if you know what this thing is. It's like a tool. I see your tool. Um, but yeah, I see your tool. that's it.